In this video, we'll help you learn how to shoot in low light with a flashlight. Darkness provides good cover for criminal activity. The result is that many self-defense situations occur in low light. Practicing this skill will let you blind the threat while illuminating them as a clear target. There are two commonly used methods for shooting while holding a tactical flashlight. Both are equally useful in low light situations. Your objective in this skill is to illuminate the threat quickly and hit it accurately. I'm going to demonstrate by dry firing with an empty gun with an empty magazine. There is no ammunition in this room and the safe direction to point our gun is toward that brick wall. During this exercise, I will be setting the action on the gun so that it will dry fire when I press the trigger. Dry firing may work differently on your gun. We have a video about dry firing. You'll find a link in the description below. Our ready position for this video will be compressed high ready. Let's start with how a tactical flashlight works. If you shoot with your right hand, Hold the flashlight in your left hand like it's an ice pick. If it has an adjustable setting, set it to the brightest adjustment possible. Rest your thumb on the activation button on the back end of the flashlight. Press it down part way to momentarily activate the light. Lift your thumb to deactivate the light. Other flashlights may work differently. However, this one is typical of many brands. Let's start with the Harry's method for holding a flashlight. Begin by setting your gun's action for dry firing. Start in ready position using a one hand grip. Hold the flashlight close to your chest as if it were an ice pick. There are five steps involved in using the Harry's method. Move the flashlight underneath your shooting hand wrist and bring their wrist together. While keeping your wrist locked together, extend your arms toward the target. Activate your flashlight and rotate the wrist to illuminate the target. Aim your gun and take the shot. Deactivate your flashlight, keep your wrists locked together and return to a ready position. Now you need to reset the action for dry firing, but first you need to do something with the flashlight. You're going to put it under your shooting arm like this. Now reset the action and get the flashlight back in your hand. You can also hold the flashlight under your shooting arm while performing reloads. We recognize that there are other ways of temporarily holding the flashlight. However, this method works well for most shooters. Now I'm going to take another shot. Move the flashlight underneath and lock your wrists. Extend. Illuminate the threat. Align your sights. Take your shot. Deilluminate, and back to ready. There's one safety issue that can arise with the Harry's method. I'll demonstrate using this training gun. Here's the correct sequence to do this. Start with the gun pointed toward the target, then move the flashlight under the wrist and lock them. If you do it the opposite sequence, you run the risk of muzzling your arm. Now let's use the FBI method for holding a flashlight. Begin by setting your action for dry firing. Start in a ready position with a one hand grip. Hold the flashlight close to your chest as if it were an ice pick. There are five steps involved in using the FBI method. Step one, move the flashlight overhead and away from your body. Step two, activate the flashlight and rotate your wrist to illuminate the target. Step three, aim your gun and take the shot. Step four, deactivate the light and move it back to your chest. Step five, return to ready position. Now I'm gonna take my second shot. Move the flashlight under your shooting arm and reset the action for dry firing. Move the flashlight overhead and away from your body. Illuminate the target. Aim and take your shot. Deactivate the light and move it back to your chest. Move the gun back to ready position. 
Darkness provides good cover for criminal activity. The result is that many self-defense situations occur in low light. Practicing the skills that we've shown you will allow you to blind the threat while illuminating them as a clear target. We're here to help you get trained. Here's our formula for success. One, watch our training videos. Two, get professional instruction. Three, practice, practice, practice. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you at the range.